very good morning dear student welcome to next lecture of econ 242 agricultural finance and cooperation in last lecture we have discussed about the lead bank scheme and regional rural banks that is rrbs so in today's lecture we will discuss in detail about the crop loan system and what is scale of finance and the kisan credit card okay now firstly we will discuss about the crop loan system so all india rural credit survey committee that is air csc air csc under the chairmanship of sri gorwala during 1954 and vl mehra committee on cooperative credit in 1960 recommended the adoption of crop loan system in all state but it was not implemented due to some reasons means in 1954 vl mehra committee on coop vl mehra committee on cooperative credit recommended the crop loan system and another gorwala committee in 1954 also recommended the adoption of the crop loan system but it was not implemented implemented due to some several reasons so after the gap of 5 years that is in the year 1965 it was introduced throughout the country and in the andhra pradesh from kharif 1966 means crop loan system was introduced in the year 1965 now with the twin objective of crop loan system which are the twin objective of crop loan system so before understanding objectives about crop loan system keep in mind the two committees were recommended the adoption of crop loan system those committees in 1954 the committee of sri gorwala and in 1960 the vl mehra committee recommended the adoption of crop loan system the question may be asked on crop loan system which committees recommended the crop loan system so answer will be sri gorwala in 1954 and vl mehra in 1960 recommended the crop loan system but crop loan system came into existence in the year 1965 and it was firstly introduced or in the andhra pradesh it was introduced on the 1966 okay now the twin objectives of crop loan system the first objective is treating the crop as a security instead of immovable property like land here in any loan system we are keeping some movable properties or immovable properties as a mortgage okay as a security but here in crop loan system the crop as a crop is a treated as a security instead of movable property like immovable property like land okay then second objective fixing the scale of finance depending upon actual farm expenditure first objective is treating crop as a security second fixing the scale of finance depending upon the actual expenditure that is based on cost of cultivation or cost of production now the silent features of crop loan system okay the first silent feature the credit requirement of the farmers are to be estimated based on the cost of cultivation of the crops cultivated by them means credit requirement of the farmers are to be estimated or evaluated or fixed based on the cost of cultivation this is the first silent feature second the eligibility to receive the loan by the farmer is not measured by ownership of land but by the fact he has a, he is a real farmer who needs the credit for cultivation means the eligibility to receive the crop loan is not measured by the ownership of loan ownership of land but by the fact he is a real farmer who needs the credit for cultivation okay now next the crop loan should be advanced on the hypothecation of the crop means as a crop as a security 
okay the disbursement and recovery of the loans are to be made in accordance with the crop production schedule means disbursement means advancing the loan and recovery means the repayment of loan should be made according to the crop production schedule okay then fifth the loan should include both cash and kind components okay and sixth the quantum of loan should be fixed according to the variety means local improved or the high yielding varieties the variety the season in which the crop is grown and the type of crop that is whether is irrigated or rain fed crop means the quantity of loan or amount of loan should be fixed according to the variety season type of crop etc okay this is a six feature then seven the crop loan is fixed by the district level committee district level technical committee dltc consisting of expert from the field of agriculture animal husbandry banking etc means the crop loan is fixed by the should be fixed by the district level technical committee which consist of the some expert from the fields of agriculture animal husbandry banking etc okay so these are the seven the sorry these are the seven the silent features of the crop loan system now what is scale of finance what is scale of finance so definition of scale of finance scale of finance is an indicative cost what is scale of finance scale of finance is an indicative cost taken as a base cost depending on which the amount to be financed to the farmer is fixed what is scale of finance scale of finance is a indicative cost taken as a best cost taken as a base cost depending upon on which amount to be financed to farmer is fixed okay normally scale of finance is a given in a range scale of finance given in a range as the cost of cultivation for a farmer practicing traditional methods of farming and that of progressive farming participating the modern methods of cultivation farming or cultivation differs okay means some farmer they are adopting the uh, traditional methods of farming and some farmers they are adopting the modern methods of farming so scale of finance is given in the ranges so scale of finance is the indicative cost means the farmer who is following the traditional method for him scale of finance is different and the farmer who is following the modern methods of cultivation for him the scale of finance must be different okay the lower value of range corresponds to the requirement of the farmer while the upper value corresponds to the latter scale of finance is fixed for annual perennial and livestock also okay livestock will have a fixed cost of finance and they are termed as a unit cost for livestock the scale of finance is termed as a unit cost because the unit of livestock varies with the type of livestock means for milch cattle unit refers to two animals for sheep and goat minimum one unit refers to 10 animals and for poultry the one unit refers to the 500 birds so for livestock will have a fixed cost finance and it is term must be termed as a unit cost okay now which are the factors influencing the scale of finance there are five different factors which are influencing the scale of finance first type of crop second nature of the crop season type of land and area okay first type of crop it varies from crop to crop means scale of finance varies from crop to crop then second nature of the crop with the same crop between improved varieties and high yielding varieties the scale of finance differs as earlier we have discussed the nature of crop the scale of finance depends upon the nature of crop either this crop is 
highly improved varieties or the traditional variety okay then season scale of finance differs with the season of the for the same crop then type of land scale of finance is different for irrigated land and is different from dry land land then area for the same crop scale of finance varies from district to district so these are the five factors which are affecting the scale of finance now most important question how scale of finance is fixed how to fix the scale of finance now first scale of finance is fixed for each district by committee known as district level technical committee dltc scale of finance is fixed by the district level technical committee so the member of dltc district level technical committee are chaired by or headed by district magistrate or district collector and conveyed the respective lead bank district managers means for the members of dltc district level technical committee first one collector this committee is headed by the collector and the lead bank managers okay dltc comply compiles technical survey report with the information obtained from nabard that is national bank for agriculture and rural development nabard in turn obtains information from the state agriculture department every year which will have the necessary details like what are the crops grown and their extent etc okay now by using the above detail a potential map is prepared means by using the above data the potential map is prepared by using this one can list out the priority activities to be financed in each part of the district and extent to which these are to be financed so finally cost of cultivation is estimated based on the market trends and market needs means market demand and supply the finance scale is not fixed and keeps on changing every year okay so this is about the scale of finance now last part or last topic of this lecture is kisan credit card so the government of india introduced kcc scheme by banks during 1998 and 1999 kisan credit card introduced in the year during 1998 and 1999 the question may be asked for the fill in the blanks or for the match the pairs keep in mind the year of introduction of the kisan credit card is 1998 and 1999 the scheme was designed by nabard kcc aims at educate and timely support from the banking system to the farmers for their short term production credit needs in cultivation of crop purchase of inputs etc in a flexible and cost effective manner so purpose of introducing the kisan credit card is t is the timely support from banking system to farmers for his credit requirements under this scheme the farmer should be issued a kisan card cum passbook incorporating name means the kisan credit card or passbook with the details name address particulars of land holding borrowing limit validity period etc and it will serve both as an identity card and facilitating the financial transactions okay the credit limit may be fixed on the basis of operational holding means credit limit of kisan card may be fixed on the basis of operational land holdings cropping pattern scale of finance as recommended by the district level technical committee or state level technical committees okay now as per the recommendation of sri r v gupta committee in 1998 on the flow of credit to agriculture sector apart from the total credit need 20% of total peak level credit requirement 
PLCR will be given contingent credit need with maximum selling of 10,000. The KCC will be valid up to three years. Means validity of Kisan credit card is up to three years and subject to annual annual review. The KCC will be considered as the non-performing asset that is NPA. KCC or Kisan credit card is considered as the NPA non-performing asset if it remains in, inoperative for a period of two successive crop seasons. Okay, if a particular farmer he has received the KCC but he is not he has not used that Kisan credit card for two successive years, then it two successive crop seasons, then it will be considered as the NPA that is non-performing assets but and the validity of Kisan credit card will be three years or up to three years. So this is about the Kisan credit card scale of finance. Okay. Now for this course you can refer the book Agriculture Finance and Management by Subba Reddy Raghuram and another book Agriculture Economics by Subba Reddy. Thank you.